Hello, my name is Gary Phillips from Automotive Gary Solutions and today we're going to be looking at different types of leak detection methods for air conditioning systems. We have a vehicle here uh, which we know has a leak, uh, it's got no cooling on uh, the system so we've attached up the gauges from an air conditioning machine uh, just initially to see what the readings are and we can see from the machine the readings are zero. Okay, so we know there's no pressure in the system, so how do we find out now whether there's a major leak or a minor leak um, on the air conditioning system? There's several different methods we can use. We can use uh, OFN pressure testing, we can use electronic leak detection, uh, we can use ultraviolet dyes long term. Uh, but what we're going to do initially is also look at a vacuum test, uh, which you can do with an air conditioning machine. I know some workshops only have an air conditioning machine, so uh, we're going to pull a vacuum and see if the air conditioning system on this vehicle holds a vacuum. The vacuum procedure and test is now complete and we can see from the gauges that it is holding a vacuum. That proves to us that there's no major leak on the system because it wouldn't hold a vacuum. If there was a pipe that was split, uh, we wouldn't be able to pull a vacuum. So we know there's no major leak on the system, but that doesn't mean there is not a leak on the system. If we've got a very small pinhole on a condenser or a pipeline, for instance, it's possible for the surrounding muck and dirt to be pulled in and plug that hole, uh, which means you can hold a vacuum for a considerable length of time. So the next stage, just using an air conditioning machine, would be to regas the air conditioning system. But that positive pressure then can actually push out that muck and dirt from the leak. So we're then venting expensive refrigerant to atmosphere. The next test we're going to do is a positive pressure test. And we're going to be using oxygen-free nitrogen to create a positive pressure test. I must admit, if I've got this available in a workshop, I will use this first on a vehicle that's got no refrigerants in at all because it's very, very quick to determine whether there is a major leak there. So we're using the OFN with a gauge set, a manifold gauge set, which I prefer to use rather than just a hose going to the vehicle. Uh, we've got both lines connected on this vehicle because it has got a high and a low port. But if you're just using nitrogen pressure testing on a vehicle that only has a low side port, feed the nitrogen in gradually so that you don't damage the gauge and you don't damage possibly anything on the vehicle. So what we're going to do is introduce uh, nitrogen into the system now. Okay, so that's the nitrogen into the system up to 150 PSI. Um, the reason I've let the nitrogen in on the high side of the system is because nitrogen actually absorbs moisture. So any excess moisture in the system uh, will now be absorbed by the OFN and by releasing it out through the low side of the, of the manifold gauges, it will actually take that uh, moisture out to atmosphere uh, where we're going to dump the nitrogen as 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen anyway. One thing that's perfectly clear is there is no noise. We can't hear any major leak. Uh, or the uh, nitrogen leaking from the air conditioning system. And we can't see any major drop on the gauges. Uh, there is other methods that we can use to see if there's any very minor leaks on the system, such as using bubble sprays, uh, such as these around the different joints and components on the vehicle, and leaving them for a few minutes to see if there's any foaming action, which would mean that's the point of the leak itself. Another method is to use ultrasonics, um, such as a kit like this, uh, again, which would pinpoint any minor leak that may be on the system. So whilst we've got a nitrogen charge in the system, before we go ahead uh, to regas the system, we're going to go around using the ultrasonics to see if we can actually pinpoint where the leak is. Through experience, we know that 70% of leaks are on condensers on most vehicles. Uh, on the Boxster itself, it has two condensers, one in each corner of the uh, front vents, which also means it's susceptible to muck and dirt gathering on the condensers and sometimes starts to rot them. Uh, by using the ultrasonics going around the system, uh, we can determine where there is any particular leak of the nitrogen coming out. And um, we've actually determined that this condenser on this side here is where the leak is. If you don't have OFN pressure testing facilities in your workshops, uh, you would normally go through the procedure of pulling a vacuum with the air conditioning machine as we did earlier. Uh, if that holds a vacuum, that means there's no major leak. 
So the next stage would be to regas the vehicle with 134A. Once it is regassed, what we need to do then is test electronically to see if we can find any minor leaks on the system. And there's several different types of technology available in electronic leak detection. This particular unit is a corona discharge unit, uh, which sucks air and refrigerant uh, into the electronic unit itself. We tend to find occasionally that garages do complain that this type of leak detector continuously goes off. Um, so they can't realistically find leaks. But what it's due to is the tip itself becomes contaminated. Uh, now these can be cleaned and if that doesn't work then they can be replaced. Some of the other technology that's out there as well with electronic leak detection is infrared technology and also heated diode uh, technology, all of which are very, very accurate in finding leaks. Now what we're going to do is um, go around the condenser on this particular vehicle uh, to show you how these uh, electronic leak detectors work. But practically in a workshop, if you've got to the stage where you've regassed the vehicle, you're then going around the whole vehicle, uh, even if you find one leak on the condenser, it's worthwhile going around the rest of the vehicle as well, just in case there may be two leaks on the system. Okay, so we've used several different methods to determine that there is a leak on the condenser on this vehicle, we've used OFN, ultrasonics, uh, we've recharged the vehicle with 134A and used electronic leak detector uh, to determine that it is leaking. So the next stage would be to replace the component itself and bear in mind before you rebuild the front of the car, pressure test the system again if you have got OFN because it will make sure there's no leaks there uh, before we actually go ahead and rebuild. The next stage then would be to recharge with refrigerant, carry out a performance test, make sure the system's working and operating correctly, but also ensure you put a shot of dye into the system as well, so in the future it can be checked quite easily. And that concludes our video on leak detection methods, so thank you very much for watching.